Burda, good morning. It's good to be with you on another Monday morning as we march our way through Lent painfully and slowly. Um, I did have cake yesterday, but it was Mothering Sunday, wasn't it? So I figured I was allowed. Um, I also had one of my children came home in, in a surprising way. I was expecting to see two of them and for two of them to not be around. So when a third one appeared at the back of church before the service in the morning, it was rather gorgeous. <laughs> There we are. We planted seeds as well in the afternoon, ready for them to grow. And, and I was reminded about how I'm not a great gardener. Let's let's start there, shall we? Do you garden? Hmm, I'm not a great gardener. It, it doesn't suit my personality. I'm, I'm not a patient person and I'm not very good at those sort of preparatory waiting moments. And um, and I need to get better about that, really. I wonder I wonder how to do that. Um waiting for seeds to crack does not excite me at all and then I found a prayer that I'm going to share with you about it that made me just think mm, Sally you need to grow up about this and uh, gardening could be a real joy if I put my heart and mind to it it kind of ties in with God a bit too doesn't it that uh, we, we often talk about him being a gardener and that we might plant seeds that he'll water and he will grow and Oh, the whole gardening analogy thing. Shall I read you this prayer and then we'll see where it goes? It's a, it's a really beautiful prayer for spring, actually. This is the season of waiting, of tipping on the edge of life, a seed planted in furrowed soil, but will it grow? Staring at earth, pondering its riches, nostrils earth-scented in morning dew waiting. This is the season of risk, watching as the seed turns, shivers, cracks, praying the precious root will find purchase and not be found. This is the season of patience, nourishment and care. What will follow will be bright colours, flowers and taste, the giddy harvest. For now, in quiet, we find peace. Now is a season of prayer, of waiting and relying, of knowing the future is in the Creator's hands. Forces beyond our control nurture the seed if we let them. This is when we depend and are taught to depend. A green tip will push through the earth and we can say, we waited, we took the risk, we were patient we prayed, we depended. It's beautiful, isn't it? Written by Kira Taylor. I suppose it kind of resonated with me in terms of everything that's going on across the world and all the things that are beyond our control and to remember that actually they're gods and all that we can do is play our part in that which might be planting the seed, it might be watering it. It certainly is about depending on God and being patient and just making sure that we've done all the things that we can do as part of that waiting and that depending and that preparing, that patience. God will find a way. Hmm. We have to trust that, don't we? And I think gardening is a good analogy for that. You know, we might We might say it's very practical, but actually there's a lot of trust and a lot of waiting and a lot of allowing nature to take its course. And that is allowing God to work his way. And so when I think of the people fleeing Ukraine and I think of the Russian people that are in equal, perhaps, uh, difficulty. And those people in Poland and Romania who are taking in refugees by the thousands those people fleeing all the heartache all the difficulty all the devastation all the utter horror that we're watching we have to trust God depend on him plant our own seeds whatever they might look like water them and wait we're in a springtime aren't we and spring is when that patience is most required. 
and I ask that you continue to pray for everything about our world that we are worried about and pray for each other too and let's take joy from the little shoots that we're beginning to see in our gardens and in our fields in our hedgerows and our countryside and uh recognize that those little green shoots are a reminder that that God is at work even when we cannot see him I'm off to pray in three more church buildings today I'll be praying about those uh, particular communities and what they need and hope and where the joy is and where the longing is and uh, perhaps I shall see some of you later otherwise I shall see you later in the week I hope you have a good day lots of love and God bless bye bye